Freeze tag! Help! Help! Unfreeze me! Please! <laughs> teacher! Teacher! Unfreeze. Derek, that game is very dangerous. It's only used to kill people. You know the rules. You play freeze tag and you're expelled. Attention everyone, you will no longer be expelled for playing freeze tag. In fact, the government encourages it and you will receive a cash reward if you play. This can't be real. That's awful. Who would play that game? Freeze tag! Help me, I'm frozen! Unfreeze. Derek, don't do that! Did you hear what Derek did? No. What did he do? He's running around the school playing freeze tag. He's killed two people already. And the worst part is, he received money for those he killed. Let's run this way, Derek's coming. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Freeze tag, Derek. Boom! Oh, unfreeze me! Freeze tag. Bestie, why did you just freeze me? Freeze tag. Bestie, why did you just freeze me? Unfreeze. Hurry, unfreeze me too! Oh no, it's too late! <laughs> Seriously? Using your own best friend? Why would you do that? I'm so sorry. Sorry that you tried to kill me? Things are bad at home right now. I really needed the prize money. I wasn't thinking. What you did was unforgivable. Don't talk to me anymore. Hey, you killed my boyfriend. Who, Derek? I think I did you a favor. Freeze tag. You're gonna get what you deserve. No! Unfreeze. Jake! Freeze tag. No, unfreeze me. She's the one who killed Derek. Let's get out of here. This school's gone crazy. I know, it's getting really dangerous around here. Hey, you and I should maybe team up. Freeze tag. No, oh, please unfreeze me. Now that you and I are a team, I won't let anybody hurt you. Me too. Somebody help me. <laughs> it's really dangerous around here. Follow me. Let's go this way. Yeah. Here, take my hand. Here you go. This is your gown. Before you enter the class, you must put this on. What are these? These gowns will be used to keep you safe while you're in class. While you have them on, no one will be able to tag you. Now remember everyone, these gowns are only used to keep you safe while you're in class so you can learn. Once class is over, you must dispose of them immediately. This place is getting insane. It's not fair they make us take off those gowns. Freeze tag. Jake! Unfreeze. Freeze tag. Bessie, why'd you freeze me? You froze Jake. I'm sorry, I didn't know you two were friends. You're not going to let me die, right? I'm your best friend. Freeze tag. Bestie, why'd you freeze me? You froze Jake. I'm sorry, I didn't know you two were friends. You're not going to let me die, right? You're my best friend. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I can't believe I just let my best friend die. What have I become? Ha ha ha, freeze tag. No. Come on, we have to go. It's not safe here. You're always looking out for me, Jake. Yeah, I am. Do you remember Derek? Yeah, he's the worst. I'm glad I froze him. He was my best friend. What? Yeah, since preschool. Freeze tag. When Derek's girlfriend froze you, I knew I had to save you. Because I'm the one who should get revenge from my best friend. I'm not frozen, Jake. What? How? The gown. These gowns will be used to keep you safe while you're in class. Will you have them on? No one can tag you. Everyone, here are your soulmate heart lockets. Only your soulmate will have the key to your heart. Only you will have the key to their heart. Jake is going to be your soulmate for sure. You guys are made for each other. You guys really think so? Hey, Brianna, do you think I would see for soulmates? Ew, nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Imagine your soulmate is nerdy Nathan. <laughs> no, Nathan, there's no way you're my soulmate. You're a nerd. That was a little harsh. Here's your test back, Brianna. No way, you got 100%. You're smart. No. Brianna, are you a nerd now? You should quit cheerleading and join the chess club with nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nathan. Jake, it's time to see if we have the key to each other's hearts. I really hope you're my soulmate. You're the hottest girl in the school. And what else? That's it. You're hot. Nothing else matters, babe. I guess. Does it fit? It... Does it fit? It doesn't. You're not my soulmate, Jake. So what? Who cares about a soulmate? That soulmate stuff is fake anyways. We're still gonna be together, right? We're both the hottest and most popular people in the school. Yeah. Of course. So are you and Jake soulmates? We're not. No way, but you guys were made for each other. But we're still gonna be together. Yay! You two are the perfect couple. Jake, why don't you break up with Brianna and just be with me? No way. She's way harder than you. You're just my side girlfriend. 
Why am I not even surprised? You deserve so much better than him. Just mind your business, dirty Nathan! Hey, Nathan. I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. I was just really hurt. I'm used to it. Someone dropped their heart key. It unlocks my heart. Be beautiful or be popular? I've always wanted to be beautiful. <laughs> Honey, I always thought you were beautiful. No one else thinks so, Mom. It's still loading? <laughs> Ugly loser. Do us a favor and walk around with a bag over your head. Just, just you guys wait. I chose to be beautiful. I'm going to be the most beautiful girl in the school. <laughs> There's no way that you could ever be beautiful. I'm going to be beautiful. That's what I chose. I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. There's no way you'd ever look better than me. Let's make a deal. When you become beautiful, if you get Chad to go to prom with you over me, then I'll believe you. Deal. I like your shirt, Brianna. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Ew, why is Chad talking to ugly Brianna? <laughs> I'll talk to you again once I'm beautiful. Huh? It stopped loading. It didn't work. Nothing's changed. It stopped loading. It didn't work. Nothing's changed. Hey, Brianna, stop. I want to ask you something. Oh, you were talking to me. I wanted to ask you if you wanted to be my date to prom. <laughs> yes. Well, well, look like ugly Brianna is still ugly. It says I should be beautiful now, but it didn't work. Chad did ask me to prom, though. You can't go to prom with Chad. He's the hottest guy in the school, and you're ugly. You can only go with him if you become beautiful, or if you wear a bag over your head. Chad, we shouldn't go to prom together. Just wait. I should be beautiful any time now. What are you talking about? I chose to be beautiful. It finally stopped loading, but nothing changed. Brianna, nothing changed because you've always been beautiful. What? I chose to be beautiful. It finally stopped loading, but nothing changed. Brianna, nothing changed? Because you've always been beautiful. What? I've thought you were beautiful since the first time I laid eyes on you. No, you're just saying that to be nice. I'm not. I really mean it. <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I have to get to class. Brianna, look at yourself. You look beautiful. I look beautiful, but I don't even look like me. I'm going back to the way I was before. Is there something wrong with your brain? Why would you go back to looking ugly? Because... She was never ugly. Chad, I don't get it. I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. Why did you choose her to go to prom with over me? You are beautiful. <laughs> on the outside. But inside, you're ugly. Come on, Brianna. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not doing it. I'm not happy. <laughs> if you hear, if you're happy and you know it, you must do whatever she says happily. If you don't do what she says with a smile, you'll die. That's scary. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. It's 7 a.m., bro. It's too early for this. Uh-oh. Chad wasn't happy and you know it. <laughs> Chad. Brittany, are you okay? I know Chad was your boyfriend. If you're happy and you know it, cut your hair. I love cutting my hair. So happy. So happy. <laughs> no, my beautiful hair. Aw, Brittany wasn't happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. Hello, Brianna. Principal Stevens, you can go down the stairs first. How kind of you. Principal Stevens? Principal Stevens? I think I killed him. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! Are you okay? You look worried. My boyfriend is not going to be happy with me. I killed his dad. Principal Stevens? How could you? You killed my dad? Babe, wait. Please just listen to me. I didn't have a choice. I got happy you know to push someone down the stairs. I didn't know he'd die. Why would you choose my dad? If you're happy and know it, break up with your boyfriend. Babe, we have to break up. You just got a happy and you know it, didn't you? That's funny. I just got one to kill you. Jake, you wouldn't actually do it, right? You wouldn't kill me. I would. Happily. Bree Bree, where are you? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Found you. This is for my dad. Jake? Uh-oh, Jake took too long to complete his happy and you know it. 
Jake, are you still alive? <coughs> Not for much longer. I'm so cold. Here, take this sweater. You gave it to me. You should head back anyways. I really did love you, Jake. I... I love you. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teeter with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. Miss Applewood, I got you an apple because you're my favorite teacher. Are you hungry? Thank you. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. Miss Applewood, you've been working really hard. You should really take a bite. Okay, I will. I am a little hungry. It's actually pretty... <gasps> Where's Miss Applewood? Class started 10 minutes ago. If she's not here in 15 minutes, legally we can leave. If you're happy and know it, throw your pen at Eugene. Ow! Why would you- Is it just me, or are we getting a lot more happy and you know it's recently? I'm not. I've only got one today. Brianna, you know if you're getting a lot of happy and you know it, it means they're trying to eliminate you, right? If you're happy and you know it, up your hands. If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? Yes, I'm alive, and I know what you did. I saw it all in the security footage. My boy's gone because of you. Time to get my revenge. Look, a woman in a bikini! Where? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. You lied to me. There wasn't a woman in a bikini. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Are you okay? Come with me. Mom, what are you doing here? Mom, please take me home. I'm scared. The happy and you know it game is trying to eliminate me. <laughs> yes, I know. Surprisingly, you're a lot harder to eliminate than I expected, sweetie. You help run happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, give your mom a hug. I thought you said you have a government job. This is my government job. Uh-oh, you didn't complete your happy and you know it. Black heart, red heart, black heart, red heart, black heart, red oh, heart. Oh, honey, you got your hearts. Yay! Now you must choose one, but whatever you do, don't do that. I want the black heart. It reminds me of death. No! You made a big mistake. The black heart means if someone falls in love with you, their heart will die. But the red heart means if someone falls in love with you, their heart will continue beating. Now you can never find love, because if someone falls in love with you, they'll die. Timmy, I'm gonna be the princess, you be the prince, and we're gonna get married. We're getting married? <laughs> it's just for pretend. <laughs> Timmy! Timmy? No, what happened to Timmy? He's sleeping, I think. No, he's not sleeping. He must have fell in love with you. Hey, my name's Jason. I just moved here. I'd really use a friend. I'm Brianna. Oh no, you have a black heart. Oh no, you have a black heart. So, why does it matter? You said you just wanted a friend. Nothing bad will happen to you as long as you don't fall in love with me. Sorry, but I'm not gonna risk it. Here's your test back, Brianna. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. Look at your grade. Yes, got another A. Your grades have been phenomenal recently. Keep up the good work. What happened to Mr. Stevens? Mr. Stevens? He must have fell in love with Brianna. Oh, who's gonna grade the homework? She shouldn't be allowed in the school. You guys think I wanna live this way? It's not my fault. Hey girl, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're friends with me, Sophie, because no one else will be. Take it as a compliment. Everyone's scared they'll fall in love with you. I'm going to be alone forever. I have an idea. You could hide it. How? Here, cover it with this red heart and tell everyone that you got your heart changed from black to red. No one will ever find out. Mr. Strawberry, I love- Stop, don't say I love you. Honey, a time you know. When you say I love you to someone who doesn't love you back, you'll lose all your memory. That's why I only say I love you to daddy and my children because they're the ones I know that love me back. Good morning, mom. Who are you? Where am I? What am I doing here? What is this place? Mom, do you remember anything? I'm your mom. You lost your memory. Dad, Dad, something's going on with Mom. She doesn't remember anything. Did she say I love you to anyone? Yeah, to me, last night. I'm sorry, but I lost feelings for your mother. So it's your fault. You don't love Mom anymore. She lost her memory? It's not what I intended to happen. Truthfully, I've met another woman. But don't worry, I love you. You're my daughter. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Dad, I love you. You're my daughter. 
Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Dad? Dad, you lost your memory? That means I don't love- Open up, we're the memory police. The memory police are here? Who's that? Mom! Mom, please, you have to remember something. The memory police are here. I'm your mom? Yes, that's all you have to say. Open up! The door's open. Come in. Are all memories intact here? Of course. Who are you? I'm your mom. See? What is this place? I don't know where I am. We've got a memory loss. Take him away. Goodbye, Dad. Mom, I have to go to school now. Just stay safe and don't do anything until I come home. I love... No, I can't say it. Of course you wouldn't love me. I'm a stranger to you. I love... I love you. How do you know that word? Babe, there you are. I think it's time we say the L word. No. I don't want to say it. I've already lost someone because of that word. Don't worry. You don't have to say it. I'll say it. I love- No, don't say it! I don't- I love you. Who are you? Where am I? I'm scared. We've got a memory loss. Take him away. <laughs> Mom. Mom? Mom? <laughs> She has no memory left. How would she know how to use a phone? Did you just say your mom has no memory? How is she not taken away yet? No. She has her memory. I was just joking. Mom, mom, I came running back from school. Is everything okay? Are you okay? I'm your mom? I think you called a mistake. Memory, please. Open up. Come in. We're taking your mother. No, no, you can't. She's all I have. Take me with her. Your memories are intact. I love you. The leader for today. Everyone, they're choosing the leader for today. I hope it's me. <laughs> it's me. That means you all have to follow what I do or you die. Timmy, you'll be a good leader, right? You won't make anyone do anything terrible. <laughs> Get in your exam. Oh, I don't want to write my exam. Everyone, take your exam paper, crumple it up, and throw it in the garbage. But no, no, I need straight A's. I have to write this exam. Eugene, you have to follow whatever the leader does, or you'll die. No, I have to get into Harvard. I have to write. Everyone stop. We're doing 100 jumping jacks. Timmy, why? One. Two. One hundred. Timmy, that was a lot of jumping jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. One hundred. Timmy, that was a lot of jump jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. The new leader. No way. I'm the new leader. Everyone, let's touch the top of the lockers. Kayla, no, you know I'm too short to reach the top of a locker. Exactly, Timmy. You're the reason Eugene's dead. He was the love of my life. Now this is what you get. Kayla, no- Everyone, we can all put our arms down now. Now, who am I going to get revenge on next? I know you're hurt, but another person dying isn't going to take away your pain. Looks like you're next, Brianna. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader does. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader does. Wait, I'm going to choose a piece from the back. Hurry up. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't think you'd actually do it, Brianna. They're changing the leader. The new leader. No. It's me. So, leader, what are we doing now? Right, I'm the leader. Okay, everyone, we're going to drink some Perry water, and then we're going to have lunch. Everyone, for lunch, we are eating a peanut butter wrap. Brianna, no! I'm deadly allergic to peanuts! Kayla, you have to do as the leader does, but they'll kill you! But if I eat peanut butter, I'll die! You have to try! If we ever broke up, I'll never be sad. Sing it, Timmy! Thinking about everything that we had. And Jimmy! If we ever broke up. Oh no, they've caught the singing disease! Get out of here before you catch it too! Singing is a very infectious disease. If you hear someone singing, you need to leave immediately or else you'll catch it. Do you understand? I understand. Come on, sis, let's go to school. I get a second chance to go. Oh no. You caught the singing disease, haven't you? Singing police, over here! Sissy, why would you tell on me? I'm sorry, Emily. Once you're infected with the singing disease, you're infected for life. 
Morning, girl. Best friend, there you are. Something horrible happened this morning. My little sister. Ooh, whoa, whoa. It's a cruise. This is kind of catchy. Summer. Oh, whoa. It's a cruise. This is kind of catchy. Summer. Stop. Don't sing. Thanks for getting me out of there, Jake. I almost started singing. I know. Oh, no. Were the singing please notified? I'm not sure. Probably. I have to go notify them, or she's going to spread the singing disease throughout the entire school. Is that the girl with the singing disease? Yes, officer. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Right, cool. <laughs> hey, Brianna, are you going to be okay? We were best friends since kindergarten. Or should I say, we were best friends. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. No, don't listen. You saved me again, Jake. Why is it always you that comes to save me? I know. I'm your hero. You should thank me with a kiss. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm your hero. You should thank me with a kiss. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. You've caught the singing disease. I'm a Barbie girl. I'm sorry, but I don't want the disease to spread. Singing police, over here. It's this guy right here. You can brush my hair. Get over here. Ah! I can't watch. Hey, kid. I have some bad news. We lost him. What do you mean you lost him? When we were chasing him, he got away. We can't find him anywhere. That means he's still in the school spreading the singing disease to other students. We'll continue to look for him. If you see him anywhere, please notify us. Good morning, class. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. Don't worry, we've got her. <laughs> Brenna. Ah! Singing! Shh! Be quiet. I don't have the singing disease. I found out how to cure it. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Brianna over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them. They'll be holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time. <laughs> this morning, little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mom says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls? You need to find them and break through, or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through, or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Come join us, Ellie. Ellie, you survived. I know, I'm so lucky. So what is real? The game of Red Rover? Yes, it is. I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover. The little girls might hear you call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they, they, they took us. And you're going to be next. No, no, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. I spy with my little eye my mom. Here, take your vision blocking glasses. I spy with my little eye these vision blocking glasses. Wear them as much as you can so you don't have to say I spy all the time. I barely take mine off. I spy with my little eye the ground. I spy with my little eye the bush. I spy with my little eye the bus. Class, can anyone tell me why the earth is flat? My eyes are so itchy. My glasses, where'd they go? Timmy, say I spy! I spy with... I spy with my little eye, a beautiful girl named Brianna. Chad, is that you? Of course it's me. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I... I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Rihanna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. I spy my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way. I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. 
For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye. Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Brie over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them. They're holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time. Ah! This morning, little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mommy says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls... You need to find them and break through, or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through, or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Come join us, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, you survived. I know, I'm so lucky. So it is real. Game of Red Rover? Yes, it is. I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover. The little girls might hear you and call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they, they, they took us. And you're going to be next. No, no, please tell me you're joking. <laughs>